We're next going to hear from Dr. Richard Land. He is the president of Ethics and Religious Liberty Commission for the Southern Baptist Conference. Reverend Land. Thank you. The presidency is a unique institution in American life. And uh, some things the president must do. He can't do it alone but he's the one that can guide and lead the conversation in a way that no one else can. President Obama stepped into that leadership role this morning by giving this speech on immigration reform. Comprehensive immigration reform. Comprehensive, compassionate, just immigration reform. He laid out the elements that are necessary for a consensus that I believe is building and can be built among the American people to secure the border, which is something that only the federal government can do, and to provide an immigration policy, which the only the federal government can do, that lays out a compassionate pathway for those who have come here. And let's understand. The overwhelming majority of these people have come here, they've broken the law, but they broke the law to come here in order to work, whereas most of our homegrown criminals broke the law so they don't have to work. And we as a country bear some responsibility for this issue being where it is today. Because for 24 years or more in the United States, we've had two signs at the border. One says no trespassing, and the other says, help wanted. And we have not enforced the laws for 24 years. You can't just not enforce the laws for 24 years and then all of a sudden say, now we're going to enforce the law. And by the way, if you've been here and you've invested your life in this country, you've got to go home. This is home for these people who have moved here and put their hopes and their trust in this nation. I believe the president has laid out the essential elements for a, an immigration policy that will begin to mend the social fabric. And let's understand that this issue has reached critical mass. The Arizona law is a symptom. It is a cry for help because the federal government has not done its job under both Democratic and Republican administrations. It is rending the social fabric of the nation. And it is rending the social fabric of the nation in ways that are a lot easier to rend than they are to mend once they've been rent. And I call upon religious leaders across the country to understand that this is a moral issue. We must find a way forward that can be compassionate and can be fair and just and that our nation can rally around. The president can't do it by himself, but you know, a marriage has to start with a proposal, and only the president can make the proposal. He has made it this morning. It is now up to our, our representatives in the Congress to accept that proposal and to work out and consummate the marriage. The president has acted like a statesman not a politician. Statesmen are concerned about the next generation. Politicians are concerned about the next election. It is time that we demand that our representatives and our senators act like statesmen and not politicians and do what's best for the country. Thank you. God bless you and God bless the United States of America.